guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another speed build. We are back building in the world of Sulani, and we're actually making an ultra-modern beach house today. So this is a one-bedroom, one-bathroom home. It's it's huge, but it's only one-bedroom, one-bathroom, and it comes in at about 97,000 simoleons, and it's on its own private island. So I imagine, even though it's only like around 100,000, that this is a home for very, very wealthy sims that don't have any kids. And while it's only a one bedroom home, it has so much entertaining space. You could have some really awesome parties here. And um, I, I just, I think it would be a really fun way to play. Have these wealthy Sims that made it big some way or another. Ooh, what if they like won the lottery with seasons? And then they were like, that's it. We're buying an island in Sulani. And then th this is their house. Uh, this is, like I said, very ultra modern literally everything is white there are a couple small accents of color i think there's a tiny bit of black as well but it's pretty much stark white home i've been wanting to do like a ultra modern white house for a very long time and i just haven't done it and i thought it would look really cool on this little private island in sulani this is in the district where the volcano is there's a like separate lot that just has its own island and i just thought that was a really cool idea to have like a very wealthy home on this lot anyway this build is basically just a rectangle it does have a pop out on one side and then the other side i have kind of a privacy wall as you can see with those little dividers that we got or the the new windows we got with sulani that are kind of like blinds i thought that would be a cool feature to add a little bit of more architectural interest on that side of the home and then there's a pop out on the other side which gives us some more space inside and also makes it look less like a rectangle but i really wanted this home to look incredibly man-made not natural at all like it doesn't quite fit this space because I, I really love that juxtaposition in the game and so that's what we're doing I also got to use these windows that I want to say are from city living they are so pretty and have such beautiful sculptural elements in them uh, I always for some reason want to say they're from like fitness stuff which they're not fitness stuff has some really cool windows as well uh, but these ones worked so well for what I was going for I just you can see me still like all all the time tilting the angle over where I think I'm probably going to take a thumbnail from because it looks so pretty and I just had a lot of fun with this and like I said it's a very not colorful build so apologies for that but I do have another colorful build coming up later this week that I'm really excited to share as well. Uh, there's going to be a mixture of stuff on the channel this week. Uh, there already has been because there hasn't been that many builds this week because I was doing my 75k special as well as um, announcing a giveaway and what was the other? Oh, the red shelf tutorial. It's, it's been an interesting week, but we're doing landscaping now. And uh, I think it came out pretty cute. I did add some big rocks on this lot because it just, it felt like it matched the world around it. There are so many rocks in this area and I'm just loving these windows. I never get to use them. And I, I was not sure which side of them I wanted visible outside, but I decided I wanted the, the blue visible because I just think it echoes the water around it so nicely. And uh, then we're trying to figure out how to paint this. I end up painting it all white and then it has some accents of that like white brick-ish texture that I just tried painting the whole thing in. So you can kind of see me separating off these sections here just to give it a little bit more texture. Um, and yeah, just adding a bunch of little vents over there. We end up adding a plant over on this side, which I think looks pretty cute. And then tons of palm trees because I love the trees that came with this pack. They are so pretty. I'm never going to get over it. And then here are those rocks I had mentioned. And then we actually paint the ground over here with a little bit of grass because there's some greenery on the other part of this little island. And I just thought it fit in nicely. And we definitely have a strong accent color of red in the greenery outside, which I, I really liked because for the most part, this home is very, very white, neutral, has some plants that are all green. So that little pop of red, I think, really helped a little bit uh, to make it fit in the surroundings a little bit better it's not really supposed to fit into the surroundings that much but um have it so it was a little bit more cohesive um but anyway i got to put this little awning over here and put the hot tub in it i think it's so cute oh this would be such a nice home if you're if you just got those wealthy sims just won the lottery like i mentioned i think that would be so fun to play here and could you imagine owning this house on your own little private island i just Yes, I just want that. Also, I've been kind of really wanting to build more modern homes lately. Uh, so I need to come up with some ideas for some more modern type homes and where I should build them. Uh, because I just, I feel like all I want to do is build lately. And I mean, I feel like I always want to build, but 
a couple of days ago, I was feeling a little bit down, like I had no inspiration. And then all of a sudden it struck and I built a bunch of things. And now like I just, I keep feeling like I want to build. I just want to build so much right now. But uh, we are working on the outside area. I actually do not keep these uh, couches on the bottom deck. They end up being on the upper deck attached to the home. And down here we put in some of the new loungers that we got from base game because I haven't used them yet. And they are so modern and like perfect for what I was going for. So I was excited to use those for the first time. So yeah, if you guys weren't aware, the loungers on screen right now actually came with the base game update. They are not ones that came with Island Living, which is awesome that we just have loungers in the game for everyone that has base game now. I just, I love when they add stuff like that to the base game. Uh, the base game updates that we get all the time in this home, or in this home, wow, in this game <laughs> are fantastic. I feel like it's so cool that we're always getting new items to just the core game. Um, but of course, expansions are fun as well. But I had only up to this point used the loungers that came with Island Living. So very excited about these. They come in a bunch of different colors. I feel like every color of the rainbow in plus white and I think they come in black. I'm not sure. Uh, but we're just figuring out this area over here. I did combine this umbrella with this pot plant of like uh, succulents. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word succulents, um, but I thought that looked really nice. I also sized down some of these lights from City Living and raised them up to make them look like they are hanging from this little awning over the um, hot tub, which I thought looked really cute and made it a little bit more romantic over here. And um, yeah, this is pretty much what's outside. We do come back towards the end of the build and add a bar on the outside deck as well, because this is essentially like a home that you throw parties in. You either live here alone or with your significant other or yeah, whoever you're comfortable sharing a bedroom with and you guys throw parties. You, you live like a nice life. It's like cozy, comfortable and whatever, but you can have some really cool parties here. So that's kind of what I imagine. And here we are figuring out these skylights because I wanted to make sure that they were there over this living room section, but they weren't, um, there weren't walls going through them because it looks weird from outside. So we're just figuring that out. And so we have the bedroom in the front of the house, which is a little bit more private because I feel like you, the real focus of the house is the back of the house. And then we have like the bathroom off to the side here. I had thought about connecting it through the bedroom, but I got rid of that idea in the end because you know, it's a one bedroom house. You're gonna have lots of entertainment. Uh, you don't want people walking through your bedroom to get to the bathroom. So scrapped that idea in the end but this is the kitchen using the new countertops of course I love them so much I'm not ever gonna get over these uh I'm always excited about getting new counters in the game so I get very stuck on them for a while but this is pretty much what this looks like these overhead things don't come in a plain white swatch and I was very sad about it so we ended up using these um cabinets from what are these from the, the cool kitchen Maybe? <laughs> I think that's what they're from. And combined some shelves with them to kind of make an open sort of unit for storage in the kitchen. Um, and I put a bunch of stuff up there, but I ended up deleting half of it because I felt like it was too cluttered for the look I was going for. This is a very like clean, minimalist type of interior. I did not put a lot of clutter. I really wanted it to just look purposeful. Like they bought it as is very few personal touches like this is straight out of a magazine <laughs> like they had no no say in it well i mean they could have had a say in it but like why would they They just have all this money they're like here's my tons of cash hey give me the house and um so pre-furnished i also had thought about adding this little vase up there with the uh like christmas trees in it because it's like oh maybe they're from a colder location but then i was like no we're just gonna go straight up and make this very minimal with clutter and I'm pretty sure that was a good idea. I like how it came out a lot better. We also added this painting up here that is a picture you can take when you're snorkeling or scuba diving in the game. Um, it's got that really stark contrast of the black frame in here, which I kind of love. It just like pops out at you. And I have a couple of things like that throughout the house. I started by not having that many, but I changed them later. So both this table and chairs, I end up making the metal on both of them black. And then we have a similar table and chair set up in the dining area. And that's the same. And then I had this little coffee bar over here, which I thought was really cute. We're about to add some tea up here as well. Uh, I just thought it was a nice way to add that in without making the kitchen area too cluttered. And then we're going to be using this rug from Fitness Stuff for the living room. And I don't remember which rug we use for the dining room. I just remember it took me a while to figure it out. <laughs> I tried all of the rugs. 
it's also just really fun uh, trying to use stuff you don't use that often. Like, yeah, I used the square rug. I don't use this very often, but it worked really well because I combined two of these large versions of the kitchen table in, together to make like a giant uh, dining room table. And I used the same chairs and I just think it looks really cute. And like I said, I will be changing it a little bit later so that the legs are the black swatch to add a little bit more contrast. And then I did add a fireplace over here. I don't think you're going to need it in Sulani, but I thought it was a nice decorative piece. And since this was just like you know, home designed for them, or not designed for them, like just bought. It was just a created home that was plopped down. I, I feel like it makes sense to just have a decorative fireplace. Of course, in gameplay, it will work. If you want to use it, you can. But I was just thinking it would be decorative. I actually struggled for so long figuring out what to hang on the wall behind this table. You probably saw me before putting up a, like a cutting board. I don't know why. I was just like, oh, maybe if we size this up, it'll look cool. And I grabbed a whole bunch of things and I ended up going with these in the end. Uh, which I think look pretty nice. I always forget to look in the category that's like wall sculptures instead of, you know, paintings. Uh, but there's some really good stuff in there. And uh, so I was glad that I remembered to do that. But this is going to be the living area. I move around the couches so many times and I'm pretty sure I keep these. I don't think they end up staying in the L formation though. I know I struggled with it forever and I actually did end up using that coffee table. I'm pretty sure that came with my first pet stuff because it's just like... I don't know what fits here, or maybe I didn't. I feel like I, I kept trying it. Did I use it in the end? I might not have, but I think that would have worked very well here because I mean, we are in Sulani, like that's exactly what it looks like outside with all the coral and all the fish and um, it would work. I don't know if I used it though. I guess we're gonna find out, but I, I do like the idea of using that here. I just, now I don't remember if I used it. I think I did. Yeah, there it is. There it is. I was right, cool. Um, <laughs> I, I love how I just could not remember. I was just like pretty sure and then I deleted it and I was like, oh no. Um, but I think that worked pretty well here uh, cause it's really hard to use that table. It's, it's just a very specific item. I really wish there was a version of it that didn't have a fish tank in it that was just glass, but at least we can use it in some builds. I think this is only the second time I've ever used it, but, and then this is the back door area leading out to the back porch. I have a computer desk and a nice plant, and I believe over here we add another fish tank. So fish is just like a big theme here. It's all uh, very pretty and um, simple. It's all like black and white, as I had mentioned. And here is that bar that I added outside. Also adding some speakers so you can listen to some music. And uh, I tried adding these paintings here, but I end up putting them by the front door instead. These are more of those photos you can take when you're scuba diving or snorkeling. I don't remember which one it is. I wanna say it's scuba diving. I haven't actually explored that much in game. Um, I do need to sit down and just like play some island living sometime soon. I think that'd be really fun. Maybe I can find some time this weekend, um, but I've mostly just been building because these items are just so pretty and I just love them so much. And I know I took a little bit of a break from Sulani earlier this week. I just needed to step away for a minute. Um, but this is one of two builds in Sulani this week. And the other one is very colorful and very, mm, I wouldn't say it's ex extremely not modern, but it's not modern. Um, <laughs> because I never really do strictly traditional builds. I always do like updated traditional builds. And I feel like that one falls into that category, but like, I'm very excited to show you guys that build, which I built before I built this one. But um, yeah, stay on the lookout for that. I believe Saturday, I have a really cool build coming out and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know what other things I wanna build in Sulani. I'm sure I'm gonna build more at some point, but I'm definitely trying to mix in some more builds from all over the worlds we have now. Um, even though I feel like the hype for this new world is still incredibly real. Like I just, it's so pretty. It's so different than anything we have. So I just want to build there. But uh, if you guys have any ideas of some things you guys would like to see next week or the week after, um, build ideas, world, which worlds I should build in, uh, please leave those down below because I'd like to mix in some other worlds as well. But don't worry, there's still going to be some more Sulani coming because uh, there's a, there's, I've built on a lot of the lots at this point, but there's still some that I haven't built on. But I completely talked over <laughs> the bedroom there. Uh, it's pretty simple, very white. And then same thing with this bathroom. Everything's super sterile in this house, but I think it looks really nice. And I hopefully achieved the look I was going for. Like, I feel like I did, but hopefully it looks the way I 
explained a little bit to you guys. And here is that little basket from Seasons. Uh, I talked in my Q&A about how I think I use that basket a lot, but I'm, I don't know what item I use in every build. And um, there it is. I actually just thought of which <laughs> item I use, I think, in every build. Uh, it's in the bedroom. It's that rubber plant from Dine Out. Yeah, I think that's what, I think it's a rubber plant, right? Yeah, I use that item pretty much every build because I love it. It's my favorite plant in the game. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, anyway, we are just finishing this up. We're coming to the end of the video. I hope you guys did like this. If you did, uh, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Also, if you'd like to download this, the download information is in the description down below. And we're going to go into screenshots now. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Thank you.